one look and I already feel almost like a sensation of vertigo standing in the shadow of this building. So huge, towering over me, just this vast, featureless wall of concrete in the middle of nowhere. So obviously man-made, but with none of the features that you would associate with some kind of relatable intelligence having created it, or having used it. I wish that was the only weird thing about this place. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map we're going to be exploring is GM Vacant Industry. A whole bunch of you have asked me to play this, and before I get started, there is actually a reason for us being here. See, this map comes with a little bit of a story. The idea being that this takes place in the Antarctic. And just recently, a massive ice shelf broke off and slid into the ocean, exposing this. And at the moment that it did, the smokestacks on this, what appears to be a factory, a factory which no country has claimed ownership of, began producing smoke. Now we don't know who's in here, what's in here, or what it's all for. But we're gonna find out. So let's get started. Now from what I understand, this map is supposed to be extremely interactive. So we're gonna be doing a lot of deep searching. Checking every nook and cranny if I can help it. And right away I hear what sounds like music coming from this car. All well, the lights are on. someone here recently? This actually almost doesn't look like it's part of the factory. It looks more like it would be part of like some kind of response team. But I'm the only one here as far as I know. Did they just not tell me that somebody came before? Because one would think that would be quite a critical thing. Omnicutter. Varied grips, replaceable fuel tank, electronic control unit, does not leak <laughs> anymore. And we can actually pick it up. I wonder if it actually works in some way. I honestly have no idea what we're going to find in here, but... I can't say I'm not curious. What is that? Okay, and I don't suppose they're gonna let me in the front door. I just saw something flash. Well, it's almost like something's trying to burrow into my mind, some kind of defense mechanism in response to me trying to break in to penetrate this thing's shell. But it doesn't seem to want to talk to me. I didn't know this was going to be an adventure map, but here we are. There we go! Aha! Okay, we are definitely going to be keeping this thing around. Listen to the wind echoing through these concrete halls. It's almost like stepping into some kind of giant industrial cave. Pipes and clockwork and machinery. All the makings of some big machine, but I have no idea what it does. I mean, I suppose that could be for ventilation, but why so huge? It's almost like the whole place isn't a factory, but one giant device. 
If any of this stuff is readable, I'll unfortunately never know. Given the medium we currently find ourselves in. Whoa. I'm gonna hate myself for asking, but just how deep does this go? I can't even see the bottom from this angle. I can't peer over the edge because of VR unless... Unless I climb myself up on the railing, but... I can see that there does appear to be another space down there. Oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Ugh. It just goes down into darkness. What about the other side? Will that elevator be going down or up? I ask as if I don't already know the answer. No such space on this side, but wait. Kind of looks like there's something down there. No, just more pipes. All right. Wherever this takes us, it takes us. Yep, how did I know? How did I know? I have to be honest. I've explored a lot of maps at this point, but this... Something about this feels really different. Uh, I'm more immersed than usual. I'm more tense than usual. Wow, this is a long way down. A long way down, and that was an absolutely huge building above, so what could possibly be down here? underground facility. Even more secret than the giant factory under an ice shelf. Which, by the way, how long would this have had to have been here for, for that to be the case? Well, at least they've got cold drinks. Actually, the presence of English text would be quite a huge deal, wouldn't it? Because were it not for everything else, my thinking would be that this is all some kind of, like, ancient civilization. Or alien. Oh god, are we gonna be dealing with the thing? Well, let's be honest, you don't deal with the thing, the thing deals with you. Best case scenario is to get it over with quickly. Uh, doesn't look like we're getting through here. I bet the solution can be found this way. Some kind of valve or generator room? Alright, let's just start turning valves. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? Uh, an alarm can start going off and things can start spinning and... Oh god. What did I do? Let me guess. This powers up the doors and opens up the cages, right? Right? I'm guessing I'm right. Oh, this looks like... This looks like a shaft that might lead, maybe not all the way back up, but a good amount of the way. Uh, now, I don't know, do we do this now or later? And it looks like our steam problem has dissipated. You get it? For better or worse, these things are going now. The flow of the steam has been redirected and, well, now I have to ask myself, if doing that powers all this back on, why was it powered down in the first place? I'm gonna try checking this out just to see where it goes, just because in the event of a power failure, I'd really like to be able to have some kind of exit. I need to know where I'm going. Wow, this one really is different. I can actually go on the ladders with no problem. <laughs> looks like I found, uh, looks like I found Jim's favorite, uh, hiding spot. Working hard or hardly working, Jim. Come on. Don't give me trouble now. <sighs> oh. This is the shaft off to the side of the lobby. It gets us most of the way up, but... Whew. 
Certainly not all the way, and... Well, with a difference like this, it almost doesn't matter how close we are. It's just something for us to shake our fist at in frustration while we can hear the demonic sounds of some bioengineered weapon crawling up the ladder after us. I can't stop thinking about the thing. Alright, let's start taking this place on. Huh. That one little bit of steam coming around the corner actually scared me a little bit. Like it was the tail of some giant monster just around the corner. But even down here, nobody's home. And these hallways go off in all directions, it's going to be hard to prioritize. Also, I really get the feeling that I maybe should have come down here with some backup. Still, the fact that I had to cut my way in here suggests that if somebody did come before me, maybe from a different country, I don't know, maybe that could be why we didn't hear about it, they actually never got as far as getting in the door. So why is it that this selectively permeable membrane allowed me through but not them. Oh, what is this? This place has the same architect as Black Mesa, I swear. <laughs> and for as far down as we are, the void extends deeper still. All these huge pipes, what are they... Why do they need all of this steam, and why do they need it so deep into the earth? I mean, I suppose it could be geothermal, but how deep do you need to go for that? No, seriously, how deep do you need to go for that? I have no idea about the engineering of it. Still, what is the use of a structure like this? I mean, the cost of digging something so large and so deep. Just to run these pipes through maybe like 10% of the airspace, if that? Actually, that looks to be some kind of giant ventilation shaft. Okay, that- oh, that looks not good. That looks not good, and the fact that it hasn't been cleaned up does not bode well for the staff of this facility. Is there something moving around in the vents? Hang on, wait, let's get up high. Let's get up high so that we can uh, traverse this room safely. There's something over there. But what is it? There's just... When there's something of this scale that's empty, it feels a cut above all the other empty places I've crawled through. That looks like a gas can, and I'm thinking we're going to have to drag it out of here. Let's go- Ugh! Really didn't feel like I was going to make that. Alright, let's uh, lean down, grab you, put you up there, and me up there. You know, everything about VR... You know, I've said that this one feels different. It literally feels different. Everything feels a lot better and more intuitive. And my current theory for why that is, I could be wrong. So the other night, I actually lost my SSD with all my games on it to a power surge. I had to reinstall everything when I ordered a new one. Uh, and I had to reinstall VR mod, including re-downloading like, the modules and stuff that they make you get from GitHub. And I wonder if, because I haven't done that since I very first installed it. So I wonder if I'm not just playing like a literal two years newer version of VR mod, in truth. Mm. Okay, I'm kind of hoping that the areas and puzzles and whatnot will be sort of somewhat self-contained. Uh, so that I won't have to figure out what something on the other side of the facility is meant for. Oh my. They've got vehicles down here. That means that, much like my nemesis GM Crot. They must have, like, ramps and driveways that lead all the way up there, right? But this looks to be like some kind of giant garbage disposal. Alright, well, before we start crawling around down there, 
Let's have a look at some of the equipment, figure out what all this does. Can't interact with this. I assume we probably can't interact with you unless we have to gas you up for some purpose or another. Now, it looks like there's light coming down that shaft, but it's kind of hard to say. I was going to say I'll climb out onto that so I can look straight up, but now that I think about it, that might be a conveyor belt bringing trash from other parts of the facility. Yep, don't want to stand on that. That would be... that would be... A hazard, to say the least. Alright, looks like we're sledding down Trash Mountain. Actually, we could probably use that thing as a literal sled. Ooh. And there's walkways up above. Can we gain access to that somehow? Hang on. There's a door up there. Alright, there's plenty of light. I will be using the safety glock. And hopefully there's no force that compels me further down this hole. Alright. Let's, uh, look up first. Getting oof, as, as close as we can. Let's, uh, watch our footing. <sighs> That's an incinerator. They incinerate their trash, but no daylight above. Ooh. I can't look away, but uh, I, I just had a weird moment where I looked over and, like, I could almost feel the heat on my face as the glow enveloped my vision. Uh, well, if I need to dispose of a T-1000, if that's what they were working on down here, I know where to come for the final showdown. Let's try these doors here. Yeah, you got it, bud. Good job, Janitor. You totally got that leak contained. I'm not even being sarcastic. You actually appear to have gotten this leak contained. How long has this been like this? Well, now we know it's possible for something to be crawling around in the vents because we have a clear entry point. Ooh. No controls or anything. This is purely for observation. What could this even all be for? I mean, I'm starting to think that whatever steam, gas, whatever it is, is moving through these pipes. It's not infrastructure. Maybe it's the product. Well, we haven't seen any mutant monsters yet, so um, thus far undeterred. sounds again. That sounded less like there's something crawling up there and more like this whole thing is collapsing. Which, uh, you know, is not at all unlikely given the massive weight on top of it and the apparent disrepair this place is in. ceiling is all collapsed here. Oh. This is like some kind of vehicle bay. Or storage warehouse. For loading and unloading of materials. And that is quite a vehicle for doing it. Finders keepers, right? Oh, look at how impossibly high up that is, and yet... There's still pipes running all through this. It looks like there's a few floors of structure that have collapsed, but... Beyond that, it's just huge caves in darkness. Oh, what can we see with our flashlight? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's almost like the ground this is built into is all hollow. Hollow to begin with, rather than excavated. And they just filled in whatever they needed with their own construction. Please tell me we can climb this thing. Please tell me we can climb this thing. My life will be complete if we can. Oh, we can! Okay. And we could go over there, but once again, I'm not sure this actually helps us. Uh, how victorious would it be to make our escape in this thing in the final act, huh? 
Man, I just cannot stop looking at this image. I mean, how unnatural is that, and yet, it's the most natural thing down here. Snowfall and sunlight penetrating so deeply into the earth. <laughs> the sunlight in this case acts as something else for us to shake our fist at. Something else to be within sight, and yet so out of reach. There's an elevator over there, but uh, I think I'm gonna, just in case it takes us even lower, I think I'm gonna continue exploring the rest of this floor, do those two side hallways, or there may even only be one, and then we'll go on our way. Okay, creepy doorless, windowless mystery hallway, your turn. It's always so weird when a hallway goes around a corner with nothing in it. No doors, no branches, nothing. Because it's like the whole thing only exists to lead you farther away from where you came. What is all this? Unless they're hosting an 80s TV store down here, I can't even fathom the purpose of this. I mean, there's not even any news on those screens to deliver exposition as I walk by. Some really weird sounds coming from this one, but I can't seem to interact with it. Or is it that one? Calibration screens and static, but some of them just display red or green or... Sounds friendly, but down here that just makes it feel out of place. I almost feel like they're all like staring at me. I look at this and the first thing that comes to mind is like some kind of like brainwashing station where people would just like sit in front of them like a UV lamp or something. Huh, we going downward still? Cool. I like down. And by like I mean the other thing. Oh, making me work for it, huh? Use my legs. I can't help but notice that it's getting quite a bit darker the deeper we go. The only light coming down that center open stack. But just how deep does this go? Quite deep indeed from the look of it considering I can't see the bottom. Now it's... That was an alarm and what sounded like maybe some doors opening. Hi there. I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. This doesn't feel like the main employee's stairwell either, especially since there's none to the surface. This feels like even by employee standards I'm crawling around where I'm not supposed to be. We finally reached the bottom of this pit. Oh, well, who am I kidding? There's no bottom. There's never going to be a bottom. Anything hidden under the stairs? Yeah, I know to check. It's the oldest trick in the... book. So, whatever happened here... Maybe it actually, like, denied access to the surface? I mean, I can't imagine some homeless person just wandered into this place one day out of the blue. Oh, that's actually a worse thought. Maybe something happened down here, and just a dwindling community of survivors had to survive in their own sections of the place. 
whatever corner they could feel somewhat secure in. But of course, there's no such thing as sustainability down here. Okay. So what we have here is the chasm room. Ever wanted to walk over a chasm? Well, here's your chance. We leave the sides completely unrailinged for the authentic danger experience. How much we want to bet something comes flying in from the sides or some gust of wind that pushes us off? Oh, and of course there's pipes here. Yes? If someone's hiding in the darkness, you have to tell me that's the law. Those groans were the metal. That's what they were. It wasn't some horrifying, giant monstrosity down in the deep that goes straight to the Earth's core. It's not some elder god that they tapped into during the construction of this place. It was just rickety metal. Which is actually more likely to kill me and yet somehow more comforting. Can't interact with that. Gotta try all the valves now. And especially since it's pretty clear that these pipes are pretty integral to whatever's going on here. This place is doing something right now. Even before we started those generators. I mean, it is outputting smoke. It's doing something. That wheel on the top of the building was turning. Uh, being able to see all that feels like so long ago, doesn't it? Feels like something that happened so far away, which I suppose it was. Oh, I hate this. I guess this pipe was important enough to be given its own chamber running alongside it. And it's a big one, too. <sighs> so it's like my job to explore and stuff. Sometimes I don't like my job. Things we do for a living. Things we do for a living. Things we do for a living. Can even make a song out of it. The things we do for a living. For a living. Okay, so something's removing panels. Something's chewing through things, it looks like. Uh, we're not crawling through there. Anything over here? There is a door. Oh, please let me drive this thing. Imagine if you could, that would be so cool. In a chase, I'd probably end up just Austin Powersing myself across the hallway, but it's the thought that counts. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them down here, meaning this level must be so huge. So clearly, this number is negative. The first floor was one, down here is two. I'm going to try and take this upward just for the opportunity to see where this goes. I suspect it's the one in the vehicle bay. Yep, there we are. Okay, so we do have other ways up besides that creepy pipe stairway, should we need them. Maybe give us a head start on whatever monster comes after us. I really don't like, even though I know I'm the one that opened it, I really don't like seeing these empty, sterile hallways. Well, not sterile, but you know what I mean. And seeing just one open door. You know, I have to say, 
When we encountered the camp outside in the cutter, I really thought this was going to be more of a straight-up horror map. And there's still time for that, certainly, but the longer it goes without hitting us with any direct scares, <laughs> the more it's going to kill me if it ever decides that it's going to. Also, what is it with this place and having unrailing drops to certain doom? I mean, there's railings around here, there's railings all over the place, so clearly they have a railing guy. They just don't want them in certain places. I mean, I guess maybe it keeps the employees on their toes and therefore more concerned about safety. And maybe ditching OSHA is actually better for workplace safety. I mean, in the same logic that they used to not give pilots parachutes because they thought it would make them perform better. Okay, why would you do this? Why would you just have, like, hallways looping on top of hallways? You use the hallway to be a hallway, you use the rooms to be rooms. That's how architecture works. Oh, that's not just rumblings. Collapse is absolutely possible and has, in fact, already taken place. This structure is not at all stable. Is there some reason why we might want to go in there? You're not going to let me? Okay, well then I will not pursue this further. Thank you for doing business. Great, it's another one of those doors. I, I really feel like there's some kind of line in the sand. Some kind of point of no return. I just reached out and touched something that's about my height. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay, I think that's my... I think that's my other monitor. Thing is, I reached out, felt it, it moved, and it was warm. I think it's just wobble from the first time, but, uh... I'm gonna have a real Scooby-Doo moment if I lift my headset right now and... Nope, good. It's the monitor. Oh, this map is absolutely gigantic. If there are any other floors, this is gonna take, like... Hours to get through the whole thing. Movement. You can't have movement all of a sudden. Uh, but what does this actually do? It looks like some kind of like package transit facility, but what did I just change? Oh, we redirect the flow. Boxes will start going this way now, presumably. And begin being pressed. Yeah, but I'm not jumping down there. Actually, now that I think about it, the garbage disposal was a level above us. Alright. Let's uh, figure this out then, shall we? Oh yeah, uh, here's me just like casually uh, actually swinging the crowbar in this episode. For the entire time I've been doing this Gmod VR series, I've had two mods installed that purport to do that. And I guess I've just been using the one that doesn't work as well. There we go! Uh, uh, uh. I, I saw that we were on like a ramp type structure. And immediately my whole body was like, you're falling into the garbage incinerator, grab onto something. And actually, I wasn't too far from the truth from the look of it. Alright, extreme ramping. Oh, this actually all seems to function as a ladder. Uh, yeah, definitely a garbage disposal. Definitely a, a floor down as well. This ain't where we want to be. This map is making it real difficult to organize. The catwalks keep going, but the lights do not. Ah, there we go. That's fine. Dead ends are fine by me. Dead ends mean that I don't have to push into the infinite darkness. Imagine if I walked forward down this catwalk, curious to see what's in the dark. 
only to turn around and be met with the same image, unable to ever find my way back. More generators of some kind? That's blood. Oh, both sides? It's like somebody was carried through one side and out the other. Wait, actually, it's not the only one. Look at... What is this? Those are definitely, like, organic sounds, and it's like some kind of, like, meat turbine. What is this even meant to be? Well, there's only one way to test. No reaction. I really don't want to touch it. So, somebody wasn't killed here, I don't think. I think whatever this is must have just, like, splattered out all over the side of this one. I was thinking maybe we bring the gas can down here to start this up, but, uh... I don't think it's the same. See, on the one hand, it's kind of frustrating to keep getting sent deeper and deeper when I haven't even explored where I was. But on the other, I'm not fighting it that hard because... I mean, it does feel like kind of an adventure to keep being pushed in whatever direction. To keep being forced further and further downward. Each time with less and less idea of how to get back. See, every time we encounter these vehicles, it means those ramps that must be behind these doors go a little deeper. I mean, that's a plow. This is for snow. can't get inside. I mean, come on, if you're gonna acknowledge through your architecture that you need vehicles to get around down here, at least let me use some of them. I, I think, I think maybe we go back to floor two. We can't, we can't from here. Yeah, you sound that alarm. Are there emergency ladders? There are not. Now, before we begin our forced adventure into what is clearly the origin of whatever is going on here, I'd say it's a good time to do a nice, cowardly, procrastinating gear check, don't you think? So, if we just uh, huddle in the glow from this broken uh, switch that would lead us to safety... Actually, our only legit switch to safety... I mean, us having come down here through the vent, and this elevator not working? We literally have to bet all our eggs on there being something... ...down this way. Yes, thank you, deterioration of the building, giving me a sound cue to emphasize my hopeless situation. Uh, but look, this is one of the reasons why I feel like I must have gotten, like, a newer, more updated version of VR mod. Because I couldn't do this before. This is something that, uh, Thunder Ghost, thank you again, uh, suggested that I could do. But before, I couldn't. So the procedure, if we encounter something in the dark, is that if we see something on the edge of our flashlight beam, we'll have to blind ourselves, point our flashlight down, and press down, and we'll immediately draw the safety glock. And vice versa. So now we have a quick switch that I've just realized means we don't actually have to fumble around in the menu anymore. Yes, we are upgrading in all kinds of ways. Unless we get the ultimate downgrade of being chewed on by a horrible experimental beast. Keep fire away. What even is this? Is this some kind of container? Oh, I'm not going to like this. I'm not gonna like moving into these expansive dark spaces with things appearing on the edge of my beam. Big things. I'm not gonna know what warrants getting shot. And I can't tell if those are just the sounds of the facility settling, or... if there's actually something down here with us. All I know is that... For the first time in this facility, things are completely pitch black. Okay. Well, that was a lot of hype for nothing. Well, it seems like we can call an elevator. 
Here it comes. Actually, that's a very big vent. What comes down there? It's clearly some kind of chute, but for what? And right next to the elevator, some kind of service elevator from the look of it. Well, you're our only way out, so you might as well show us something interesting. Actually, I should probably have the safety Glock at the ready, shouldn't I? Now is not the time to get complacent. Unless it's bringing us to somewhere equally dangerous. What was down there that could flip a car? What was down there that I didn't see that could flip a car? That's the real question, and where is it now? I think we're probably back on level two. That was a very car-heavy spot, wasn't it? And those doors are open. Hopefully that's a sign of... Oh yeah, no, 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 no! That was a place I criticized their railings. Which I'm not sorry for. Okay, we're back in... Well, what passes for familiar territory. I, I never actually really got done exploring this place. Reactor access. I mean, maybe there's something we can do if we can get all that working again. I'm still, you know, with all the fear that I've been through and all being trapped down on level three, I, it just totally slipped my mind that they have a meat reactor down in one of those other rooms. So somebody's gonna have to explain to me what that was about. Uh, this is the box crusher. We've already been here. But we haven't yet been up there. Is this maybe going to be some kind of, like, staff area? Oh, looks like. Yeah, here is the mess hall. Yeah, maybe we can find something... <laughs> that is so creepy. This abandoned, empty facility, thousands of miles from any other humans, left completely pristine except for one solitary coffee mug left sitting on a table. Actually, the only sounds are from, like, the lights, the vents, and the sound of the box crusher still going, however much length of time later. Which, I'll be honest, that's been kind of a thorn in my side for a long time now. Ever since we encountered that room, it's like no matter where I am, I can feel- I can hear boxes being crushed. Oh, nope. It might be a while before I can receive any kind of assistance if I step inside and it closes behind me. But this map wouldn't do that. Another door in the back of the freezer. Now that's something I haven't seen before. And it leads out to here. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that this probably leads out to that high-up vent that we saw before. Yep. Yep, looks like. Come on. Come on. But what's the reason for even coming here? I guess it's just another method of traversal. You know, I have to say... The last couple of years, it feels like there's been almost a revolution in Gary's Mod maps. So many maps that almost feel like a game unto themselves. An experience unto themselves. Years ago, every map sort of had a purpose. There would be like a horror map or an RP map. But I feel like things have kind of combined themselves in recent years. I don't know if I had anything to do with that, or if it's just the community being creative as always, but I feel like in the last couple of years, like, a lot of iconic experiences have emerged on the workshop. Oh, we're below that room where... We're below that room where we brought out the gas canister. The gas canister which I have yet to discern the purpose of. Oh wow, look at that. Those concrete beams with the slab above it in a darker color. 
it actually gives the impression in your peripheral vision of skylights going onto a night sky. This actually seems like very deliberately built to sort of minimize that feeling of isolation, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm starting to wonder, can we actually open these? It does not seem so. All of this remains locked down. So I think our next stop is going to be that reactor. And then again, it's clearly undergoing some kind of emergency. Maybe it's best not to enter? Oh, we actually can't seem to interact with this. Maybe through here? We haven't opened this yet. Another elevator, another service elevator. This doesn't look like floor one, though. Unless it's a door we somehow missed? I don't think we moved up far enough to get to floor one. This looks like some kind of control room. Uh, temperature critical, heat shield active. And coolant error, restart pumps. Okay, but what are the pumps? I don't want to start pressing buttons. I hate how dark it is. I hate I hate when it's dark and I'm trapped in the wall, and there's something else trapped in the wall, probably. Something really, really big. A fear which is not assuaged by the size of these side channels. Okay, we need to time this right. It's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be one of these. Okay. This is gonna be tough. In VR. Run, 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 run. As soon as it goes, we have to start running. Yeah. I can see you've constructed this with perfect timing. Yeah. Now what's down there? Oh. Go. Thank you, safety Glock. Well, out of the frying pan, into the fire, as they say. Are you dangerous? Great. This is a maze, too. It just had to be a maze. Everything's a maze. You know, if you're gonna put something like this that's actually walkable, at least have some kind of signage. I mean, why would it have to be this big if you don't intend for somebody to be walking it? I, I just can't go down any further unless I explore more. Okay, not you, not you, not you! We were right the first time, turn straight back. And oddly enough, I'm really coming to appreciate ladders. <laughs> For example, they go both ways, unlike falling. Oh, how am I getting out of here? Is this- oh god, is this a coolant tank? This probably isn't good for me. Uh, uh, maybe I can climb this? Yes. There we go. Yeah, the- this is probably it. These must be... The coolant tanks. I have no idea what part of the facility we're even in right now. That has to be artificial light, right? That can't be the light from the surface. Let's start having a look at this machinery and see what we can do. Condition 0%. Condition okay. Coolant insufficient. Uh, maybe coolant was a coolant full. But minor damage. Okay, uh, our first priority, before we can start bringing anything back here, is to figure out how this all connects. What is all this? 
Uh, somebody being zapped by some kind of a thing. And a thing going to the thing to some purple thing. And something going from the purple thing to another purple thing. Uh, I need to get this translated by Outer Wilds Ventures. But, you know, at first, like, this almost looks like a diagram of, like... You know, the two different, like, coolant pipes leading to the reactor, and the reactor harming someone, but... Look, whatever drawing off to the sides almost makes it look like... A being. Like something standing there, arms to the sides, glow radiating from its head. And black wings to its sides. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, and here's yet another ripped hole in the wall. Back here all over again. Anything beyond this fence? No, nothing for a long way. I have to keep reminding myself that we can see below these grates. And that I should really be paying attention for something slithering down there. It's like a huge observation room beneath the pipes. Actually, I'm not sure... Actually, now that I look at it, I'm not so sure that's what it is. This room actually doesn't look all that familiar. Uh, I don't know what those three squares on the opposite wall are, but they almost look like truck loading bays. Oh, wait. We can get up there. All right, safety Glock, do your thing. There we are. Oh, who's a good safety Glock? You're a good safety Glock. Oh. All right, let's go. Ah, great, more crawling. You know, the ladder actually suggests someone came up here before me. Put the lid back on, but did so in a rushed fashion. It wasn't really on right. Almost like they were running from something that they knew would have the intelligence to see that the cover was missing and that someone had gone in. But they just didn't have time to do it properly. What I love about this map so far is that there's so many implications and just no answers at all. Nothing about the situation even makes sense. I mean, I've been speculating so much on what caused the downfall of this place... But I haven't even been talking about why it's still running, or why it's here in the first place. Oh god, you're gonna... Mm, this is exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen! Okay. I appear to be somewhat stuck. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of crushed against the ceiling here. I think I may actually have to noclip out of this one. There we are. Oh, now we can climb out here. Or, oh no, this is, this is where we came down. Oh, there's no easy way to do this. I have no idea how I'm going to get that can down here. So for now, I'm focused on things I can work on. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of turnable valves in this area. Was there maybe one? Yes, right there. So let's have a look at that. Oh, we can use it. Anytime soon, there we go. Now, presumably that'll alter which tanks are filled, but... What do we do with that information? Okay, weird things just happened to me. Okay, now those two are both filled, and these are not. But it looks like they still go up to the grates enough that some can get through. But it was really this one that doesn't have enough. This one should still be fine for a while at least. Fine enough for our purposes. There we go. Condition okay. Coolant full. But as for you... 
Oh, cool and insufficient minor damage. So how do we... Oh, we can actually start this one now. So that's one going. I suppose we still haven't explored down here, right? Worth a shot, and besides, I've jumped down into plenty of sealed abysses before and found my way back up. You know, like ten times in the space of this map alone, actually. Hmm. What are these, like some kind of armor plates being moved around for testing? And at least my video game knowledge says so, and this place, like I said, does seem to be made by the Black Mesa Architects. There's no way out of here. At least none that I can see. There's no way we can climb back- oh, there's a vent. Alright. See, it's weird. It's kind of reached that state where, like, I was exploring and trying to figure this place out. But now that I have an objective... I actually didn't discover that objective until I had more or less explored everything. So now it's just about trying to get this dusty old ship sailing again. There's actually a really interesting turn of events. And of course, we can't ignore the fact that something presumably happened here, and this event is considerably smaller than all the other ones. Can't ignore that fact. Almost makes it seem like this is the one they don't want you in. And the other one was blocked by some kind of ion cannon. Come on. Break. Break. <sighs> I got... Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. I thought I had vertigo at the start of this map. <sighs> this ain't gonna be easy in VR. doing this. Oh, there's a chain that leads down to those boards. We can't go up at all. Yeah, yeah, alarm. That's what my heart's doing right now. Okay, let's just try and make our way over. Oh, we've got to drop down onto it. No, 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 are we alive? Are we okay? Okay. It's so just gonna... Just gonna stand up now. I don't like heights at the best of times. I can't even stand being on like a ladder, so... This is pretty bad. Can we maybe do something with this now? Oh, cool and active cooling chamber. So we only needed the one? Now what about you? It still says critical temperature. Maybe it takes a while? There we are, and now... Now we can lower the heat shield. Now I know this place is the same architects as Black Mesa. That doesn't look good. We may have lowered the temperature, but it's certainly not low by any means. Oh look, almost a heavenly glow coming from below. It does look like that panel is open now. Let me through. Why can't why can't I crouch through oh There's a sight I never thought I'd see again. Unfortunately, I pictured this as being a triumphant moment when I'd escape the clutches of whatever beast lies in the deep. And instead I'm just kind of making a pit stop. All right, kind of don't really see why I couldn't crawl through there, but here you go. There we 
we are. Now you wait here. At least you're down here now. Oh, this is not safe. This is not safe. I don't even know what I'm doing here. What is it that I'm even trying to... Oh no, we're still gonna need that sucker. Alright, turns out this thing's coming in clutch to save the day. It's more than just a one second gimmick. Let's go. Alright, fighting fires and we don't even know how we're doing it. We'll have to hold this way up. <laughs> don't cross the streams, that's like the worst thing you can do. Oh, it's putting those out. Somehow. I'm confused about what our job is here. I mean, I thought I was just coming here to observe and report. This is... Well, uh, it's a whole lot of observation, I'll give it that, but... I don't even know how I would report this. Eh. Anything else? Anything else we can cut? There's one over there. Uh, is that gonna hurt us? Is there anything that shoots out? No, I don't see anything. All right, there we go. I'll probably get over there. All right, let's uh, climb this thing. Once again, not sure what this is meant to accomplish. There we go. Uh, pretty epic for a custom map, though, I will say. Feels like I'm doing something, even if I don't know what that thing is, which is apparently dying in the process and going to heaven so I can be remembered as a hero. And now this thing is glowing yellow. Uh, maybe we should head back to the control room? We seem to have stabilized the facility at the very least. What is that sound? That sound is continuing throughout the place. What it's like some kind of like electronic gibbering. <laughs> When you walk in, it almost looks like a neck, mouth, eyes of some huge robotic creature staring through the window at you. But I don't think there's anything else to be done here. Oh wait, there's a thing right there that says gas, maybe... Yeah, there we go! Now we just gotta figure out how to get you started. Ooh, openable door, openable door, that is so cool. Oh, neat, 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 neat. Ah, oh, I'm like a kid entering like a big wheels or something. Ooh. <laughs> Press it. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, especially in VR. Boom. And crash. Okay, I kind of worried that was going to crush the cabin for a second there. Uh, goodbye, gas tank. Goodbye, cutter. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the vehicle slowing to a halt, but as I stared forward out the windshield for a second, I thought it was some kind of shrill demonic cry coming from the darkness of the tunnels. Well, I guess that doesn't preclude the possibility of such a thing existing down here. Anyway, we'll leave the cutter for now. Okay, I, I had kind of gotten lost in the puzzle, but... Oh. I was going to say, I think we should proceed with the utmost caution now. Maybe restoring power had some kind of positive benefit to our safety? I mean, it would mean that whatever the facility systems would be back online, right? Oh, I think this is that big room we could see from the large observation deck. Have a look at that, will ya? The way the dull light just barely falls onto all these crisscrossing lines. What? 
That sound sort of sounded like a get out sound. But I have no intention of doing so. I have no intention of doing so. I've been doing this for too long, and I'm too invested. Uh, I don't know if we still need the cutter, but... I think I'm just gonna progress without it for now. Especially since I think we have to crawl into a vent. Okay, so there's that room. We can climb down on top of that to jump down inside of it, but we already had a way into there. What's so special about this area is what I want to know. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is gonna be some real bad platforming. Alright, aim for the corner. That way we can't overshoot it, right? Oh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks! This sucks. <clears throat> well, my ankles didn't like it, but we made it. Oh, these look like some kind of, like, electrical coils. Is this whole room some kind of, like, power infrastructure? It kind of seems like there's something in here with us, but no time to think about that. I'm picturing some kind of, like, weird dirt-covered bird just kind of hanging off of the walls in here. We're not the first to climb down here. It's another one of these murals. And that's definitely meant to represent... Oh, it looks like... It looks like maybe a bunch of, like, robotic arms feeding the reactors. Huh. Now, I'm not too well-versed in this stuff, but... I imagine they started off with the yellow arms and then later upgraded to the red and blue arms for more throughput. I might be thinking of a different game. Climbing. High stakes climbing, to say the least. That door's been completely knocked in, meaning... That's probably how whoever drew this got down here. Was all of this sabotage? Did someone in the crew, like, go insane and just bring this whole thing down? Messed with the reactor? Crawled around? From the look of those drawings, maybe even some kind of weird devotion to the light of the reactor. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. But there's where we came in. I wonder if we can't maybe find something inside this pipe? I mean, ugh. Does allow us. Ooh. Uh, I kind of expected to just see, like, a black wall. An opening on the side. Uh, we gotta go get the cutter. There's that noise again. I believe we've only been hearing that since fixing the reactor. <gasps> Have we found the staff? This looks like the stuff that was actually, like, powering that generator-type thing. Oh, I can actually, like, hear it pulsating. Uh... This is a unique object. What does it do? Oh! I knew there was something to these. But what?
Okay, well, I have no idea what that means, but, uh... We're gonna be taking you with us, that's for sure. I know that there's a ton of these things all over. Okay, these are clearly all messages which can be decoded, but... <laughs> I'm not gonna be the one to do it. Maybe it'll... interact with these? No, it doesn't seem so. What about you? Nope, just those panels. I feel like there's music coming from behind this door. I mean, I... <laughs> This, this isn't- this is in the TV room. I am just kind of like, going around trying to figure out what changed since fixing the reactor. And I can't figure it out, but there's definitely music coming from over here. Alright, moving this doesn't do anything. Uh, I can't seem to open the door, so I am just going to noclip this. Well, this texture over here is quite strange. Huh. I didn't really expect there to be anything in here. Oh, oh I see. It's... Okay, so it is probably a deliberate noclip easter egg. That's actually pretty clever. Having us know that there would be something in here by having the sound playing from inside. Do I know this man? Uh... Looks familiar, but I'd have to see him in a lineup. Hello? Some real weird sounds playing here. And then they're gone. I had forgotten all about this place, and. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this area is actually accessible. Well, okay, this is kind of like, uh, the part in the nightmare where you start to feel like it's all gonna go wrong, even before it does. Oh! Oh my god, I just got jump-scared by the default spawn entity in Hammer. Hi! <laughs> Ah, oh, you baited me with this! You even put it in a pitch-black room! You know, for a map with a lot of important, creepy secrets, you sure did put in a lot of stuff that's creepy for no reason. And I just realized there's... a little room. There's a creator room behind the start of the map. How cool is that? Uh, end shake. Okay, I guess that's the earthquake function. Maybe there was a bit of a shake on the map itself. What about you? Oh, it did mention a music room. Okay, well, I don't know if I can play this stuff, but... Uh, this is here for you to enjoy. And from what I can hear, it does seem to be quite my taste. So, I've taken to reading some of the Steam forum posts to try and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Which, by the way, not an easy task to navigate those for the piece of information I need without spoiling anything for myself. But, apparently there's a bomb up here that I'm supposed to use? Right here, yeah. And apparently I'm supposed to use this on that kicked-in door that's down in that area past the bulldozer. Okay, well, it's gonna be another long ride down. Let's try it. Yep! 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 I honestly never would have figured this out. I didn't even know there was a bomb up there. Well, it's been a while. 
It's been quite a while, but we need to respawn our safety Glock. I mean, it's just the thing for finding unexpected hallways in your basement of your previously thought explored new, uh, new property. That's what I'm calling it, my property. I mean, finders keepers, right? That's what we went over? Sure, flickering lights. Flickering lights down the hallway where the deranged person crawled down from above and scribbled all kinds of cultish scribblings everywhere. I mean, I have a Glock. What's he got? Crayons? Is that actually... Is there something there or is that just an object in the way? Oh, it's a hole. It's a whole other area. There is something below three. Why is the droning of the pipes so much more ominous here in particular? Up there it was more pulsating, more natural. Here it's like a steady tone. Oh my god. No! 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 After all this, this can't happen now. It can't be another GM Crot. It can't be another GM Crot. You cannot do this to me. Oh, and this is like the biggest area yet. What is this? Some kind of lab? It's like they're developing, like, meat-based energy or something. So something is loose. With the flashlight, I can't tell if there was something moving behind the glass just now, but I feel like I heard something. even five we skipped right over four and went down to five uh, that droning it's like instead of like the more rhythmic natural sound of the pipes above now it's like a single, sad, vocal tone, almost. All this graffiti suggests someone was living down here for a time. And someone went to a lot of effort to seal it off, but this may predate even whatever else happened, because this is all... Forget power failures. Forget experiments gone wrong, although all of that could be part of it. I think this level is just straight up haunted. I mean, this looks like it's been abandoned for much, much longer than the rest of the place. Like they just sealed off every entrance and then kind of forgot about it. I thought there was something there for a second. But all of this is still on. Almost like there was one person, maybe the person who drew in that main chamber just continued their work down here unbeknownst to everyone else. Maybe, oh, imagine that. Imagine something goes down, this whole place gets sealed off, unknown number of casualties, and then years, maybe even decades later, a new crew rotation, one who doesn't even know that this place exists down here, starts getting terrorized by a deranged survivor. 
If that person could lead to the downfall of what was above, maybe they're still here. Oh my! Ah, oh, Darwin, don't do that to me! Or... Or was that Darwin? That was like one frame. I... I don't even know if I've... Uh, I've been here, but I don't know if I've been down that hallway yet. Is there more... Remember like two hours ago or some something like that when I said I can't get complacent because as soon as I do... I guess we should try the elevator button, right? No, nothing. I can hear like some more like organic pulsating noise. From somewhere within. Oh, the different levels of this are like chambers of a beating heart. Maybe, maybe that means there will be something soft at the bottom? That looks like a black wall. I think not. Let's go. Ooh! Nope, I was exactly right. I mean, it must have something to do with this. These drawings, I mean, that looks like the factory itself. A red sun over the front door. And some kind of green, like, mushroom cloud, or flower, or brain, or something growing up out of the facility. Ooh, there's actually stuff back here as well. Not that I can really see or read it. Ah, oh, we can break it down, though. I mean, looking at it now, it sort of looks like lightning bolts shooting out of a person and into the reactor. I wonder if maybe my coming wasn't prophesized? And of course, that's just me trying to interpret macaroni art like a school guidance counselor, so... I mean, from reading the forums, I can't be sure, because everything is really, really vague. But I'm kind of wondering if this thing isn't maybe... like, overtaken by whatever was making those noises. That maybe those, like, sort of computerized vocalizations weren't coming from the facility itself, but actually speaking to us through our cutter. Maybe it has to do with this? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this other one that I wanted to avoid does actually take us somewhere. Oh, it does indeed. What are these? This is all some kind of, like, bucket rail system. Almost like for, like, a steel smelter or something. Question now is, how are we getting down there? I guess that's gonna be the only way. Alright, doing some platforming. Doing, doing platforming. If I hadn't seen that there was more stuff, I would have never, ever attempted this. It's still, even after all this time, it's still so unclear what this place actually is. We'll be able to get in there, but there is a ladder. What kind of sound is that? What kind of thing is this? Like some kind of furnace? Some kind of like source of thermal energy? Well, there's a pipe that runs to it. Yeah, it's like molten steel or magma or something. I don't suppose we'll be able to get out this way? No. 
Well, that seemed to have some kind of reaction, although I'm not sure if it's because of anything I did. We'll have to climb down that ladder we saw outside. That might be the only way out of here. This looks a whole awful lot like the hallway that led to the spooky area. I don't like this. I don't like it when there's a long, turning hallway that doesn't have any windows or doors. Because then it's like, why are you turning? Just to screw with me? With these pipes still running overhead, however deep we are. And that must be pretty deep. And here's yet another one of these things. All right, away we go. Really, away we go. What's going on? Where are we? Where? Oh. Oh, ooh. I think it's pulling me towards it. Okay, this is a button. Will that cause you to stop so I can get by you? Where is that light even coming from? Unless I've been pushed all the way to like the top of the facility somehow. Okay, it's gotta be in one of these, right? The way out? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What are we? Uh, ugh! So that's where that goes. Still talking, huh? <laughs> the only thing is I kind of want to see what'll happen if we, like, bring you out. Oh, it's gone. Hmm. Well, I suppose there's no point in that now. Well, anyway, that was GM Vacant Industry. And with everything I found, I'm sure there's so much that I didn't. I mean, all of this is so, like, deep and complicated, and we never really did learn what exactly it was that happened here. What the nature of this place even was. But I have to say, somehow, even though it was giving me absolutely no information, my own speculation was keeping me enthralled throughout. It is an absolute monster of a map, in terms of size and interactivity. But I have to say, I... I don't know about the way it presents itself. It, it seems like... It's really laid out to tell its story in sort of an ARG style. Where it's really not so much about the experience of the map itself, as it is about discussions around it. And so, I, I really... I understand that a lot of people would probably enjoy it for that reason. Uh, people who enjoy, like, fandoms and talking about things and discussing it back and forth and discovering it and sort of unraveling it collectively. But for the purposes of this video and for, like, my taste in general, I feel like that sort of leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of the experience of the map itself. Which isn't to say that the map is underwhelming, far from it. I mean, this is nuts in terms of its systems, of its puzzles and adventure elements. In a way, it almost feels like archaeology, which I suppose it is. I mean, in archaeology, you don't get any exposition. You really have to just make inferences based on what you can see. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.